Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling y'all 10 unusual, weird, gross, TMI warning pregnancy symptoms that no one really talks about and that even being in my second pregnancy, I have Googled because I didn't know if what I was feeling was normal, but I thought plenty of women are out there are pregnant, plenty of women must have the same symptoms, so we might as well bask in the glory of pregnancy and its grossness together. So let's just get started. The first symptom that I did not have with my last pregnancy but did pop up with this one that I definitely did Google to make sure was normal <laughs> is very vivid dreams. Which, not even just vivid dreams, but vivid sex dreams. Which, I mean, you can fill in the rest of it. But, yeah, a lot of vivid sex dreams that just... I don't know why, but they happen, and they happen a lot. The second pregnancy symptom that is definitely a new one also with this pregnancy is body odor. And like I take showers, I'm not a stinky person, but for some reason if you exert yourself at all, you stink. I know some women have experienced this after birth, but I'm noticing it while being pregnant with baby number two that it's definitely, I have to take a lot more showers, be reapplying the deodorant and the perfume, because I don't know what it is. I think it's just hormonal changes that are causing it, but body odor is definitely another one. Another thing that I've had actually in both pregnancies is peeling nipples <laughs> and that sounds so gross and nasty but I think it's just part of skin stretching and them getting ready for breastfeeding because 90% of women will tell you that they get bigger and darker but mine literally are so dry and I don't know why they're drier than my stomach is my stomach has not needed lotion or much of anything this pregnancy but the nipples definitely do still peel and are still very dry and so I don't know how to fix it but hopefully it goes away soon. The fourth pregnancy symptom is dealing with nausea which every woman probably deals with nausea at some point or most do. I did with this pregnancy I didn't really deal with it with my son unless I like smelt something really gross but this type of vomiting is kind of after the initial first trimester morning sickness. This has popped up more now in my second trimester. And it's like gross, but you know when you like puke and then like swallow it all of a sudden, you're like, oh my god, like I almost just puked. It's like that, but like four times a day. And it's really nasty, but it is definitely something that I've experienced. The next one. Now this one is by far the nastiest one of them all. It is the one that I am most insecure about. It is the one that my husband is affected by and that a lot, a lot of women are affected by. And it's very hard to deal with, I think, just because you feel like a gross human being even though it's serving a very good purpose and that is discharge and a lot of it so normal women have it you know before their periods or whatever but I'm talking it is like a waterfall down there sometimes and no matter how many times you clean it or take care of it it is what it is and it's nasty but it's protecting your baby from infections and so it's serving a good purpose, but it is gross. The sixth weird pregnancy symptom that I've had that I actually don't know if any other women have had, but it's weird birthmark type things coming up. So right underneath my chest, I had a birthmark type thing pop up with Isaac. And it's not like as, 
it's not like really dark brown it's probably a few shades darker than my normal skin tone but I saw a pop of my son didn't think much about it in this pregnancy though I have noticed it has gotten bigger and so I don't know is the more babies I have if the bigger it's gonna get and all of a sudden we're just gonna have this big old brown spot but I know it has to be pregnancy related because it doesn't pop up unless I am pregnant so that's weird let me know if y'all have any weird birthmarks that have popped up or if it's just me it might just be me all right the next thing is body hair a lot of women have gotten body hair popping up more um, and it's not popping up in places it shouldn't be it's just it comes in quicker it's just harder to take care of because obviously you have a bump now so shaving your legs is a workout shaving anything is a workout when you're pregnant because you got something in the way that you're having to work around and I know a lot of women they get hair on their backs they get hair on their stomachs and that's actually what I have the hair on my stomach the peach fuzz has turned into like actual like almost like actual hair and it does go away after I give birth but it's definitely weird okay the next one is something that I struggled with very hard in my first trimester and something that I didn't know if it was pregnancy or if it was just me kind of going off my rocker I don't really know but it is something that happens it is something that not only did my doctor but my therapist says happens with pregnancy is severe paranoia and when I say severe my first trimester Isaiah gets up very very early to go to work and so he was leaving you know 4 35 a.m. and you know I'm home alone until he comes back but he would leave and I couldn't go back to sleep. I would just sit there on my phone watching our security system, terrified that something was going to happen. Someone was going to come in, or I don't know what, that something would happen. And that also went along with the vivid dreams. I had a very vivid dream specifically of a man coming in while I'm sleeping, you know, grabbing me and killing me is what it was. And it was terrifying. And it felt so real in the moment. So that vivid dream coincided with the paranoia and it got worse. Thankfully it's gone now, but it was the worst feeling. I hated it. I would have to be on the phone with Isaiah while he was driving to work because I was so terrified of everything. Absolutely everything. It was awful. The ninth weird pregnancy symptom that I think every pregnant woman probably has experienced is the bigger your baby gets, the more they're pushing on your bladder, which means when you sneeze, you pee. And it's one of those things, if I'm in a public place and I'm about to sneeze, I cross my legs so I don't pee. But last night, I was laying in bed and I sneezed and I peed a little bit. And it happens every time I sneeze. So ladies, along with the discharge and the pee, invest in some nice panty liners because you'll use them. You will. All right, and the tenth and final weird pregnancy symptom that actually I found doesn't go away for me after birth is my feet grow. So I don't know if it's changed with my daughter yet, but I knew my feet were swelling in my last pregnancy they're swelling right now I swell a lot in pregnancy and so a lot of my shoes didn't fit towards the end of my pregnancy with Isaac but they never really went back I was probably a seven before I had him and I'm a good eight eight and a half now and so I had to buy a lot of new shoes after he was born because 90% of mine do not fit they just don't my feet grew like a whole size and it's insane but that is definitely something that's new that I as far as I knew went back to normal after pregnancy but I guess not so I will be dealing with my big feet from here on out and hopefully by like my fifth kid I do not have size 16 feet but we will see 
But that's going to be it for this video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If y'all have any other weird pregnancy symptoms, let me know. If you can relate to any of them, let me know. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.